What's up, Cartmasters? Nightside back with another video. Capcom just released what seems to be the last trailer before Sunbreak releases, and it was an absolute bombshell. We're gonna break it down super quick, but as always, don't forget to drop a like, comment about what monsters got you most stoked, and smash the subscribe button to get more Monster Hunter and variety content. Now, let's get to it. First of all, especially because we already knew that we were going to get Gore Magala, there was a pretty high chance that Shagaru Magala was also going to make a return. First introduced in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, the Shagaru Magala, or as we like to call it, Shaggy, is a matured Gore Magala. It shares similarities to its younger form in terms of features and attacks. Only now its breath attacks now take the form of a laser and shockwaves. Especially since we're getting both Shaggy and Gore, I'm about 70% hopeful that Chaotic Gore will also make a return in future title updates. Next up, Ryze's poster monster has its Master Egg form officially named as the Scorned Magnomalo, which is a variant that achieves an even more twisted and malevolent form and is shrouded in Hellfire at all times. The also boasts larger blade arms and harder armor plating, According to the website, it's also mentioned that it's been seen using its Hellfire and swinging it like a blade. Coming back in the form of a variant, Furious Rajong returns as our master rank Rajong. Having lost the ability to curb its anger, the Furious Rajong is always covered in golden fur. It not only outclasses regular Rajongs in terms of power, but they also assault with a seething rage. As part of the next title update and releasing alongside the Lucent Nargakuga comes the Seething Basil Geese. If you didn't think this pinecone monster was annoying enough, just wait until you start fighting against its purple explosive pinecones in Master Rank. Last but not least, an unnamed monster which is most likely what the intro refers to as the Archdemon of the Abyss. It can only be assumed that it will be the endgame story monster in a similar vein to Narwa or All Mother and is most likely completely new. As we already know, followers will feature story NPCs that hunt alongside you for specific quests. Here, we get to see Utsushi perform a duo spiral slice while Luchika and the Hunter gun down the Espinas together. Several armors that we haven't already seen in previous trailers are also shown off, such as the Master Egg versions of Ibushi and Narwa, Gore Magala and Furious Rajang, what most likely is the Shaguru Magala set, and we also get to see some returning favorites such as the Guild Palace set from World, and the Yukumo starter set from Portable 3rd. Also, the Black Belt S armor has been officially announced so that you can speed through high rank to catch up to your friends in Master Rank. We're also given a showcase of all the weapons doing different things, including the new Silk Bind for Longsword, which is roughly translated to Strong or Sturdy Spirit Round Slash. It seems that the Palicos also gain a new gadget where they can set a cage of birds, which I'd like to say might be potentially Spirit Birds, but they don't necessarily have that same glow and you can also send off your Palamute or a Palamute mid-quest, perhaps to get resources or send resources back to your box? And that's everything! Sunbreak is just around the corner and the game seems to be jam-packed with all the goodies with even more things to come in title updates. What do you think? Let me know in the comments! You can also catch me live on Twitch where I stream a variety of games including Apex Legends, Elden Ring, and of course, Monster Hunter. That's it for me, Cartmasters. As always, get mad, get sad, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye! But hey, PC is really fun to play. It definitely feels... Let's go. Oh, best time. Oh, oh, so close. I'm getting closer and closer. Let's freaking go!